Number 41. A layer of oil, 1.5 millimeters thick, is placed between two microscope slides. Researchers find that a force of 5.5 times 10 to the minus 4 newtons is required to glide one over the other at a speed of 1 centimeter per second when their contact area is 6 squared centimeters. What is the oil's viscosity? All right, so we need a formula for this. So we've we've uh, we've seen this formula before in, in uh, what was it? Maybe 20, in the 20s, I forgot the number, but some problem in the 20s. Uh, where we can say that the resistive force, or the force necessary to glide, you know, one object over another relative to another object, all right, with a certain thickness of um, fluid in between, will be equal to the viscosity of the fluid multiplied by the surface area in contact multiplied by the velocity divided all by the thickness of the fluid. So basically, I want to find viscosity here. So all we need to do is just reorganize these variables, right? Bring the y out of the denominator from the right up into the numerator on the left. Bring the a and the v from the numerator on the right down into the denominator on the left. And voila, here it is, right? This is then the equation. Nice and nice and simple. Okay, just reorganize a little bit. That's how I think about when I'm solving certain equations, right? I just think about doing that cross method. It's nice and easy. So now uh, here it is, right? So we the thickness is in, oh, lovely, it's in millimeters, right? So we got to do that conversion. So the thickness in millimeters to meters, we got to divide it by 1,000. So it's going to be 1.50 over 1,000. Multiply by the force. Thankfully, that's in newtons. So 5.50 times 10 to the minus 4. Then divided by the surface area in contact, but it's 6 squared centimeters. So you have, that, you have to convert that into uh, square meters. So you're going to take 6 and divide it by 100 squared. And then times the velocity, and oh, that's lovely, right? It's in centimeters per second. So we just have to do that conversion. So this would be then uh, essentially 1.00, just 1 over 100. Okay, and now we can do this calculation on out. So this is then equal to the uh, viscosity. All right, so ready? So we got 1.5 divided by 1,000 times then 5.5 times, oops, times 10, hold on, hold on, hit the wrong button, 1.5 divided by 1,000. Then that multiplied by 5.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. Then divide that now by in parentheses, this is gonna be six divided by 100 squared, and then multiplied by one over 100, close those parentheses, and we get a value of approximately now 0 0.138 or so, 0 0.138, considering three sig figs. So 138, this is in the units for viscosity or Pascal second. And that's equal to then write that viscosity. So there it is. That's all it is. Not, not too bad, right? Oh, uh, right. The last question, what type of oil? Uh, I think this value is closest. I, if I remember correctly, I think it's olive oil. Olive, if I could spell olive oil. There we go. Um, yeah, so cool. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.